Hi, this is Vintage Toilets Vermont. Today I'm going to be doing outdoor flush tests of the 1954 Elger Waco. This was recently removed and replaced with the 1948 Standard Compact. Let's first have a quick look at the underside of the bowl. You can see it's a longhorn, in other words, uh, the outlet extends uh, a little bit farther than the actual base of the bowl. But I want you to take a look inside, inside the horn and see if you can see that little hump. The sun is out bright and I, and I don't know if this is registering on the camera. We'll find out soon. But anyway, look down straight through and you can see there where some parts in there were joined, but look at that little hump uh, that extends up and puts a little bit of a uh, fence or restriction on the trapway. I suppose in or under the right conditions something could hang up on there and make this toilet plug. The numbers 78 space 4 are stamped in the bowl and the date of manufacture was November 25th, 1954. I've turned the bowl right side up and now we're going to have a look inside the entrance. Here you can see the jet passageway and a plug down here, it was probably to drill a hole for the uh, jet opening on the other side. But look inside the opening here and look how the water drops in and drops onto what looks like a little bit of a shelf with a small round hole drilled into the middle of it. That is the entrance to the jet. And that small entrance probably explains why the jet is weak, the flush is weak, but the bowl swirling is uh, quite vigorous and uh, powerful. So it appears that flush power was sacrificed for a better rinse. Next I'll be setting the Waco up on the test stand and we can do some outdoor test flushes. This is an Elger tank to bowl gasket for the tanks with the China flush valve. There is no uh, extended shank or metal shank coming out of the bottom of the tank. So this just sits in like that. We're looking at the tank turned upside down and this is actually what you see on the bottom of an Elger tank. You can see this opening right here and that is where the bowl refill water comes from. The Waco is set up and now I'm going to turn on the water and fill the tank. And just like most forward trap toilets, it's filling from the jet at the bottom.
the tank is full and the bowl is full and we'll flush it. Well, I think I better get my wrench. I thought I had that tightened enough. Okay, I'll try it again. Hopefully this will be the flush without the gush. Now a close up of the jet. And now a view looking toward the right side of the bowl. And now a view of the left side. The rinse on this bowl is excellent. Too bad its handling of solids is not. And now a rim shot from the front of the bowl. I did not put the leaf in. The leaf went down. Now here comes the part everybody is waiting for. The leaf test. I have no idea how well this is going to perform. As you recall, from some of my tests in the past, the standard modernist toilets did very well with this. Um, the Gerber Jefferson did a fine job with it. Um, the Mansfield Simplex did not. My prediction is that this may not either. So let's make this thing try to make a liar of me. Here goes. I don't believe it. This has to have been some sort of a fluke, but anyway, it all went down, and maybe it just performs better with leaves than it does with uh, toilet paper and other material, which I won't name. Okay. I took a few handfuls of last year's leaves. We'll try this next and see what happens. Okay, this is more like what I've seen when it was actually installed with toilet paper. Maybe this is even a little bit, of, a little bit worse. So you can see it didn't take all of these down. So we'll try it again once it fills up and see what happens. Here's what remained in the bowl uh, after that first flush. I did see one small stick in there that I took out. I don't want to risk that going down and getting caught. So let's see what happens now. Uh, it almost acted like it was partially plugged from that last flush and then the leaves hung up down in the bottom of the trapway like toilet paper would do and of course solids and some solids would come back just like this so it looks like this is going to take a third flush to get rid of it all.
This is why I uh, replaced it. The tank is filled once again, and let's see if the third time's the charm. Look at that, still some floaters. Okay, the tank is full once again, and here are the two floaters, and let's see if we can finally get rid of them. They're gone, and it only took four flushes. Imagine if this had been in the real world. If I had to wait to flush the toilet four times before I could leave the bathroom, that would definitely put me in a, into a cranky mood. This concludes the outdoor testing of the 1954 Elger Waco. It's now time to remove the toilet, dry out all of the parts, and put it in storage. Uh, it's a beautiful toilet, but its performance leaves a lot to be desired, but it is better than the Mansfield Simplex. This is Vintage Toilets Vermont saying thank you for watching.